Okay, so I want to show you how to use the uh, Make New Tills library I'm set up uh, that just creates empty agendas for you. Uh, it's nice and simple and quick and easy. Uh, so uh, the easiest way to do it is actually just to, if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, is to just clone this one-on-one -on -one template that I've got. Uh, that comes with all the scripts you need. You just need to tweak a couple of things, um, like the your name and your report's name and, and a couple of things like that. Um, I will show you that a little later. I just want to show you how to get it running on a totally blank uh, document first so you, you can understand it a little easier. So let's say this is for, uh, um, what's the thing here? A group meeting, whatever it is. And you have some links here uh, to wherever and maybe some sticky points however you want to do your meetings that's up to you um, but generally you have a header section and then uh, like a repeating um, oh I just took a screenshot that's not what I'm going to do <laughs> a repeating uh, thing so it's like I don't know what's the day today 6th of October 2020 so 2021 10 or 6 and then uh, I don't know. You would say it. Um, Sam says this is important, and then someone responds on this, and then someone responds to that, and then you know this. This is how you would build up uh, an, an agenda. This is how we do them in GitLab, right? Uh, obviously, with much more uh, relevant information. But copy pissing uh, the blank version of this every time you want a new meeting is an absolute nightmare. So this uh, just makes it a bit easier. Uh, so I'm going to put horizontal line there just so that we can separate the top from the bottom. The script does actually require that this line exists to work so that it knows where to put the agenda. But that's about uh, all you need to do in the, the doc itself. Everything else is totally up to you what you want to do. So if you go over to Tools and Script Editor, uh, this gives you access to all sorts of scripts that you can do. Uh, but what we're interested in is adding the Meeting Utils library. Now this UI is really clunky and awful. You have to know the exact script ID in order to add it. Uh, luckily, I have posted that here. And as you can see, it's nice and short and memorable. Um, but you put it in, hit look up, there we go, we should have meeting utils there. Um, it's kind of versioned-ish, <laughs> there's only one version at the minute. Uh, I'd recommend running version 1 just so you don't get any weird experimental things that I've added. Um, and then yeah, just add that in. And then I will copy another example from this post. So we want a general meeting here. We want to add that there, and that just says create the add next agenda function, which calls the next group meeting util and sets the meeting day to Wednesday and sets these sections to announcements and, and discussion. Uh, and yet, you can add as many or as few as you like here. So, if I save that and then try to run it, it's going to spin for a little while and ask me to review my permissions. Um, this is something you'll have to do as well. I don't know why it takes so long the first time. There we go. Right. Uh, review permissions. And sign in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this sounds scary, but it doesn't give my library access to these things. It's just the script that you write in here. Uh, so you can allow that. And then, did that run? Yeah, there we go, and it's added, um, when was that, Wednesday. So that's a week from today, yeah. A week from today it's added the next uh, agenda in, which is great, that's exactly what we wanted. And you can change this, so if I set it to Thursday, um, and then add some more uh, items here, whatever. Um, 
then we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can run that and that will work too. 16, tidied it for tomorrow. We've got the four different headings that we wanted. Um, you can also set use human readable date to true if you want to set uh, the date to look a little nicer um, than, than the string you want. I know different people have different preferences. Um, I have different ones for different meetings. It's fine, it's changeable. Uh, so that's about it for all of that. Um, that's now kind of semi-automated. But what I generally do then is I go into triggers and add a new trigger and then say we want to add next agenda, um, time driven, every week, every, it depends on when your meeting is, but I generally run it the day after, so we set it to Thursday. So every Friday at midnight, it'll go in and it'll add uh, a blank agenda. And then just hit save. And yeah, there you go. That's it right there. Um, and yeah, that, that'll just run every week and add a new agenda for you, which is pretty nice. Um, it gets a little more powerful with one-on-ones as you can just go straight to this template and file, make a copy, uh, one-on-one demo, whatever. And if you go into tools, script editor, you see everything's already basically set up. So you just need to set your report name, so whatever. Set your meeting day, uh, Friday's fine. Uh, this actually adds uh, an extra bit of functionality, uh, which I'll show you shortly. But if we save and run next one, one, I'm going to do that permissions thing again. Here we are, review permissions. We log in, we allow. And then there we go, there's our, our one one uh, template. And that's ready for you to, to start adding things in. Um, two seconds and, and, and you're away, right? Uh, what this also does, this um, document get UI functions, whatever, uh, it also adds in, if I refresh, uh, there we are, this functions menu with add next one to one. So you don't need to open scripts if you want to add it outside the schedule. Uh, just go in, add script, uh, sorry, add next one to one, and just click it when you want a new one. Uh, and it'll add it for, I can't remember what we set this one to. I've closed the scripts now, but like, yeah, every Friday. So it just picks the next Friday and adds it in. Um, but yeah, that's 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 the meeting utils script. There's some other things you can play with. I've tried to capture them here. So human readable day, meeting day, question of the day, uh, all sorts of bits and pieces. Just play with them, and you'll you'll see what they do. You can't really break anything. But yeah, um, have a play. Let me know what you get on.